the ninth day of April 2023. I'm Dana Durnford. I'm also known as the Nuclear Proctologist. You can call in 709 589 4406. It's on the screen. Just in case you're blind. It's 709-589-4406. You can't find your glasses. You're just watching it on your cell phone. It's too small to read. It's 709-589-4406. Hope you all had a great day, great weekend. Unless you're from the nuclear industry. I hope you get sick and die tomorrow morning. No offense. Nothing personal. <laughs> okay, a little tiny bit. Uh, difficult to return zone. The white is zones that they open up. The red is you can't. These are just little tiny fractions of a community. So like if you, you can't go across the street because that's a no-go zone. As if radiation is just underground. This is airborne radiation. This is not just underground. That's how bad the industry is. They move people back in. Like, see up there the yellow? That's the nuclear wasteland itself. i, I got to explain it to you because I feel obligated. So... This yellow zone they're going to open, but you got to drive to a nuclear wasteland, an actual wasteland, to get to it. Does that make any sense? They put a uh, statue of Shinzo Abe in Taiwan, but not Japan. Welcome to the stupidest industry on the planet, nuclear most murderous, the, the industry responsible for the most deaths is the nuclear industry. So Fukushima is uh, in the center of this 14 markers, or markers of prefectures where the food was banned for 55 years. Or 55 countries banned it for 10 years, for a decade. They replaced them with pro-nuclear and lifted them last year, most of those places. And so currently, uh, those yellow zones are now open. That's Nami and Tomoka. Nakuma, which is right alongside the nuclear meltdowns themselves, which is right behind me, you can see the nuclear meltdowns that are ongoing for the next several thousand years from your living room window. So the industry is out of control. So the country is absurd about the radiation. <coughs> you have no idea if you've never been to this topic before, but it's so important. And so we got a poll. I'll bring that in there because that's important. Wasn't that a poll poll? Might have been a poll. Considering the massive radioactive sewage, the water sediment from the water reclamation filtration facilities, you're talking some communities got 50,000 one-ton bags of filtered sediment from the water filtration. Um, and that's considered... Um, radioactive and the incinerator ash the garbage was too radioactive and the incinerator ash left over is too radioactive to get rid of so how bad was the and they claim that the radiation is so heavy that it doesn't float away you can put two million of these atoms on the head of a needle but you can't see them they're that small and that they can cross oceans you don't need jet streams they're very mobile, and if you get it in your body, a single atom can inflict one of 1,800 known diseases. So this story of three 
34,200 tons. This is just a single community. Uh, this is actually ash from the incinerators. So radioactive. Now, it got wet because it's outdoors, where it can blow away, by the way, and does. But when it rained, it got turned into mud. So they're, gonna, they're calling it radioactive mud. So the whole country, the water filtration, the sewage, the garbage, is so radioactive you can't get rid of it. So therefore you shouldn't be in the country. So the poll is, should Japan be evacuated? And I can make a compelling case every day for the next 500 years that it should be evacuated. I can I can make an overwhelming case every day this year and you would win in court if it was a trial every single time. So the evidence is overwhelming is what I'm saying. You don't want to eat food from scumbag Japan, trust me. 34,200 tons of radioactive ash that got wet is now considered mud. They didn't want to call it ash because you would start asking questions, right? Most people won't read the article. Tep Tepco, or Tokyo Metropolitan Government, a.k.a. batshit lunatics, contaminated mud treatment facility. Contaminated mud treatment facility. Again, he's just making up as they're going along. Tokyo. About 34,000 tons, which is metric down there, 2,200 pounds a ton of mud, contains radioactive material released from TEPCO Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant nuclear meltdown. Not accident, but nuclear meltdown. Has accumulated in five prefectures in Japan's Kanto. Five prefectures. We've, and I can't find a particular headline that I was looking for for some reason tonight, where just one community had 50,000 one-ton bags of sediment from the water filtration facilities after filtering the water, the sediment was so radioactive you couldn't get rid of it. They wanted TEPCO to take it. TEPCO told them to get lost. And th this is something we've covered for many, many years. And it's also the garbage, the ashes, which is what this is about. We'll get to it. Let me jump into that. The undisposed radioactive mud is temporarily stored in the form of incineration ash. The undisposed radioactive mud is stored in the form. Like, you can't take mud and turn it into ash and then flip it back to mud again, right? Ash is left over from the burning process. The undisposed radioactive ash, which is left over from burning radioactive material, dirty bombs, into the environment. <coughs> It's hard to believe that people like this actually exist, but uh, there's an overwhelming amount of them out there. Currently, the amount of radioactive mud, a.k.a. ash, from incinerators, accumulated in the Kanto region, which is Tokyo, is found in the equivalent to the amount of mud incineration ash generated in 23 wards of the Tokyo in one year. 20, uh, of course, this is not true. They dumped it for many years out where they were going to have the Olympics. They have massive mounds of it that dwarfs the numbers they're talking about. It was revealed to radioactive cesium, which, of course, it can't just be radioactive cesium. Uh, like, cesium is... Uh, the word should actually be banned because the reactor is running uranium, plutonium, not cesium. Cesium is a byproduct. But the biggest byproduct of radiated fuel rods is the curium isotopes. Curium isotopes, you need lead shielding 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium. <coughs> Hang on. Thank you, thank you very much. May I have another?
kind of overwhelming, really. Bear with me. Let's just make a circus out of it where we're at it, I suppose. I guess it's a circus anyway, so why not? So it's not just going to be cesium, curium isotopes, big the biggest byproduct. And there's many different types of curium isotopes. And so the square on the bottom gives you an example of the different curium isotopes. Uh, just one time about iodine-129, which is a prolific isotope from Japan, with a 15 million year, one-tenth life. There's, uh, they call them half-lives, but there's 10 of them. So pre-nuclear, there was around 100 kilograms in the oceans. Uh, Sellafield and La Hague in France um, dumped around 1,100 kilograms in the first 10 years or something into the Pacific and the Atlantic or, or into the Atlantic Ocean. But they released infinitely more than that airborne. And they like to tell you that it's natural, but this is completely different. This is man-made we're talking about. And in Canada, a study out of Ottawa, Canada, showed 220 million atoms per liter of rainfall. This is true for United States sustained. And this is also detected in the aquifers that supplies the drinking water to millions of people in uh, Ontario and Quebec. Of course, it can't have a deal with having it anywhere else. And so... Iodine-129, there's going to be all the other isotopes and all the xenon isotopes and all the krypton isotopes, all kinds of uranium isotopes and plutonium daughters and, and americium neptunium daughters and cesium daughters and strontium daughters. And the list just keeps going. There's a thousand of these man-made fission products. A lot of them got a short half-life, which means they're very dangerous. Uh, but there's a big difference between man-made and natural stuff when it comes to energy. And what they done was conflated the boat of them, so you get confused about... So plutonium with a 24,000-year half-life. It's a 240-year life, 240,000-year life. Uh, it's high energy for 240,000 years. It's not... Like uranium, natural uranium, 238 or say, it's got billions of years of half-life, but it's harmless to me and you and everything else. We're acclimated to it through genetic superior selection. You know, to the, the amount that you come in contact with normally. But, it, uh, but it's not a high energy. Um, but the plutonium has a 240,000-year half-life, but by their rules, it would be a very low energy, but it's a very high energy, which means it's uh, very dangerous to all species. Researchers too frightened to get closer than 100 kilometers from the meltdown send in the homeless who are wearing the tungsten and vest outside of Reactor 3. Water cannons couldn't spray the reactors. The helicopters couldn't spray the reactors. So we got a little off the beaten track we were talking about. Cesium mixed in with the ash that they're calling radioactive mud. After that, the local government in Kanto, which is Tokyo area, which is 36 million people in Tokyo, so there's different sections, right? Kanto is one of them. Conducted an investigation, stored it in a sewage facility where the radio, when the radioactive material concentrations were high, but the, sewage, the sewage facilities were stuffed full of radiation too. Bear with me. From December 2022 to 2023, they investigated the disposal of the mud, which radioactive materials detected in 15 local governments, included one prefecture and six prefectures in the Kanto regions. Incinerated ash. So to call it mud is completely China, because radioactive ash means you burnt a massive amount of radiation into the environment, liberated into the environment, and this is what's left over. It's a shocking number, right? 
and this is they're misrepresenting the numbers by the way the reason why radioactive mud aka ash from the incineration is managed separately by local governments does not exceed the the crazy batshit lunatic designated waste standards 8,000 becquerels per kilogram which is a half a million per square meter which the government is responsible for disposing of not TEPCO the taxpayers are responsible although the radioactive mud aka ash and claiming that it's only got cesium again which is what it's absurd that we're having this conversation. It was found that the amount of radioactive exposure did not exceed the annual limit of one millisievert, which is a thousand microsieverts. <clears throat> but this is not the radiation dose we're talking about. The ash is not sieverts, microsieverts, or or uh, millisieverts. It's becquerels. It's physical atoms. They're completely different. And the only reason you would conflate them like this is to confuse people who are trying to understand them. <clears throat> and you see this quite a lot where they do this routine, worldwide, by the way. Yeah. Let me keep her on the track here. Do not exceed the annual limit of one millisievers for the general public. One millisievers. Well, you don't. You're not getting millis. If you're getting millisievers from physical atoms, then you're breathing them in. They're in your clothing, in your hair. You should shave your head, and get rid of all the clothing that you got immediately, permanently, because you got incredibly exposed. And if you take that home, you're going to mix it with your laundry and contaminate everything else. So you can't conflate. Beckwells with millisieverts because that you simply can't do that. But this is what you see the academics doing it for the media. The, it, and totally, the, the whole idea is to confuse you. So originally, the Japanese government plans up a treatment plant. You can't treat this stuff, by the way, in a national forest for long-term management of the radioactive mud, a.k.a. ashes. So to avoid using the word ashes as much as they can by completely misrepresenting it as mud, in accordance with the Act and Special Measures to Combat Radioactive Substance Contamination. Well, you should have banned in Tokyo, obviously. However, it failed to overcome the opposition to the residents in the nearby area. Thank goodness. Meanwhile, Tokyo, Saitama prefectures, Kanagawa prefecture, Mito city, Santima city, Chiba city, which is 15 miles away from Tokyo, answered to dispose of all the radioactive mud managed by local government. So, but how and where and when? You don't have a repository anywhere on the planet, so what did you do with it? It's not mud, by the way, it's ash from the incinerators. They call them terrible people, it is an understatement. Japan is burning Fukushima debris 10 miles from multiple nuclear meltdowns. 88% of the cesium remember I showed you all the other isotopes a little while ago in the radioactive ash might be at risk of being transported away from Japan landfills by wind and rain again right when you hear cesium that's the cover story surge in radioactive cesium which is an insult they're, they're spitting in your face when they say cesium Levels cause incinerators near Tokyo to shut down, which means you should abandon Tokyo immediately. Tokyo drinking water is unsafe for infants. And if it's unsafe for infants, it's unsafe for everybody else and the pets, and particularly children. It can't just be unsafe for infants, which also means the pipes are irradiated. The whole filtration system is absurdly radioactive. 
10 and 12 sewage plants test positive for iodine-131 in December, which meant you had a major criticality going on, recriticality, so constant emissions from the nuclear meltdowns 200 miles away. 350 kilometers away, iodine-131 levels rise at a sewage plant and is starting to transform into other substances such as, like first off, the iodine doesn't decay to that, to that particular isotope. Crackdown, Japanese professor was arrested, uh, extremely unjust, publicly opposing burning of radioactive debris. So the police should have arrested the people that were burning the radioactive debris. The police should be prosecuted and put in jail for not doing that and, for po and then being a party to it as murder. So if someone helps somebody else murder somebody, that's murder. That's what they done. That's murder. Incinerator radioactive material could contaminate the environment. Incinerative, incinerating radioactive material could contaminate the environment. So they contaminated the environment, and now we're trying to convince you that it's mud instead of radioactive ash. Osaka detects radioactive substances in sewage sludge, 600 kilometers away. 170,000 atoms, physical atoms, per kilogram in the slate, which is pulsing energy every second. Every second is 170,000 pulses per kilogram in the sewage. High levels of radioactive material, high levels in sewage. Disposal of the quake debris begins in Tokyo to be burned in Koto. Over a billion pounds, they're going to take the radioactive fallout contaminated debris from Fukushima, drive it to Tokyo, and burn it in the incinerators. And you, how can you not say the industry is not insane, is not completely out of control worldwide? Because the worldwide nuclear industry didn't speak up. The International Atomic Energy said, knock your socks off. <laughs> this is great. Bill Gates had a party. Do you got any idea how that headline shouldn't exist? That should never, ever, under any circumstances, be possible. In fact, it's the norm. This is what a journalist gets paid to do, is put their name to these stories and stick them out there to trick you. Not to be journalists, not to be uh, forensic investigative journalists, but to be scum under the guise of a journalist. Massive radioactive waste build up throughout Tokyo suburbs, even over capacity. They had a billion tons they took to Tokyo in areas to burn, but they only got 23,000 tons today for some magical reason. Oh, and they got rid of it. Nobody knows where or how or what. It's real, but why did he even report on it? That is confusing. Fukushima will start burning radioactive waste, 100,000 becquels a kilogram, to be incinerated. Remember, the story from today was 8,000 becquels a kilogram or under. Back then, there was 100,000 becquels a kilogram of a billion pounds of it. So this, these are constant dirty bombs. And you recontaminate the, the whole country and the Pacific and the North and hem Northern Hemisphere by doing it. Is government trying to contaminate every region in Japan by burning radioactive debris? If everybody's in contaminated in a relative sense, nobody is. This is one of the reasons we got that poll tonight. You should get out of the country. The whole country should be abandoned. Considering the massive radioactive sewage, massive radioactive uh, water filtration sediment, and massive incinerator ash should Japan be evacuated. Well, golly gee, Dana, let me think about this for a second. Duh. Well, yes, they should. And 300 times more radioactive uh, ra uh, releases into the atmosphere. It should not radiation, but radioactive isotopes released into the atmosphere from burning debris because you can't destroy the radiation, the isotopes. 
than claimed by the government. Hundreds of after Fukushima nuclear plant rubble burned in a major city. Why are you taking rubble from the nuclear meltdown to major cities and burning it? How did we ever get to this? How the hell did we ever get to this stage? How, how does a headline like that even exist? You got any idea how batshit crazy it is to have a headline like that? Suffer nosebreeds. Problem with their eyes, their throats, their skin. The kooky uh, genocidal government says they were low enough to be safe, but obviously they can't be safe. There is no safe level. High temperature incinerator building on site at the Diachi across from the incineration workshop. <laughs> workshop. First off, you should never have incinerators at nuclear plants, and they all do. Second off, you should never have them at a nuclear meltdown. Ever, under any circumstances. They got two at Fukushima, by the way. Tokyo neighbors uh, cesium approaching levels found in Fukushima. The incinerator dust, the mud, at 70,000 beckles a kilogram. Notice in the story they don't tell you how many beckles a kilogram it actually is. It just says it's below a limit. You're basically recreating Fukushima all over again. Clouds of radioact radiation, radioactive fallout continue to cross the Pacific. It's absurd that you would burn this. Pre-Fukushima, it was anybody had done that would have been demonized as terrorists right away. Three workers suffer cardiac arrest at an incinerator plant in the same day. Doctor associates it with cesium. Of course, when you there are this for ninety nine percent of the stories, that's all they're going to mention is the word cesium. This is a brainwashing genocide. Death rivers, uh, the rivers are all the rivers through those prefectures I showed you earlier, are vicious uh, radioactive fallout. And this is why 14 prefectures, the food was banned by 55 countries. It's hard to imagine they don't ev evacuate the most vulnerable of society. Instead, they give them dosimeters so they can study them at the universities like little lab rats. You got, there's a whole, that's a whole different level of evilness, is that story right there. It's on a whole new level of what anything we're used to pre-Fukushima. Children fall out spiked to 349 million beckles a kilogram in one day. So they, they would never evacuated them. Every house in Fukushima City of 300,000 people or something are entitled to be de uh, decontaminated, but you can't decontaminate a house, and you can't decontaminate all the houses. So you're not supposed to be there. That means the water's not safe, the air's not safe, period, and it never will be. It just shows you, though, how evil this industry actually is. If you put in Fukushima contamination areas into the gigawatt scale of energy, then nuclear is a piece of shit. Nuclear is the worst by far. 34% say they still want to escape from Fukushima City. Yes, yeah, never too late. That's why we keep doing this show. It's never too late to try to do the moral and ethical thing. Radioactive fallout from Fukushima incineration plants are being hidden. Extraordinary high levels of radioactivity detected in household dust. So inside the house, the dust is shocking numbers. Thousands of beckles a kilogram in the vacuum bags. Officials made it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. After the f after fo during fog, they discovered 4,000 beckles a kilogram of cesium. Of course, it can't just be cesium. It has to be a thousand other fission products in the same samples. And that's why you see in uh, 13,646 children with thyroid tumors out of uh, 38,000 when it should be one in a million. 
And the tumors are two centimeters. The thyroid gland is three centimeters by five centimeters. So calling them cysts and it's completely dishonest. This is why six and ten Fukushima children tested, not every child is tested, have diabetes. And the head of the Tokyo Area Medical Clinic, we're expecting diabetes in children from Fukushima radiation. We're expecting diabetes in children in the Northern Hemisphere from Fukushima radiation. And heart, and liver, and lung, and respiratory, and pituitary, and thyroid, and Alzheimer's, and dementia, and autism. Uh, every organism, every organism in the prefecture, every organism, every creature, every insect, every human is completely contaminated. And the excrements from the worms are 1.4 million beckles a kilogram. These are, these are absurd numbers. And they're grown food during shipping it worldwide. They never stopped. As the public, possibly worldwide, sickens over time, the truth will come out about Fukushima. We're trying to bump that schedule up a little bit. Chiba incinerator dust is 70,000 beckles a kilogram. The incinerator, not mud, but dust. Highly radioactive sewage 30 miles from Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. At just a gamma cesium, there's many gammas, just a cesium, because that's what scum only do, they only talk about cesium. At 334,000 beckles per kilogram in the sewage. So what are we going to pull tonight along this line? Because if your sewage, your water filters, your sediment left over from the water reclamation facilities, the incinerator ash, a.k.a. now called mud, is all massive, shouldn't the country be evacuated? Why are they censoring the living shit out of me so much again tonight? Like, first off, this is not some random uh, video, right? We do this five days a week. We've been doing it for years and years and years, right? And that the people that watch this stuff are hardcore, typically. 95% are hardcore, anti-nuclear in many ways. And in the industry... And so there's a small percentage of policymakers and investors, and then there's random people who say, hey, wait a second, what the hell is going on here? Holy smokes. And this is not s something you're going to find anywhere else on the entire planet, this particular story, this subject, or these headlines, certainly. You're not going to find it anywhere else, ever. And so the ones that have been around for a long time will always be around, right? This is that subject that they get. And so the last week or so, I have half the, the viewers randomly disappear. Not that we had very many in the first place because we've been censored so heavy for so long. But it's not, it's not a subject that's common, right? So... Uh, the weekend, for the first two days, my last video, the most I got was total, added up, was two views an hour. And uh, we only seen this in particular, this brutal uh, censorship in the last 10 days or so. Ear samples in Tokyo, 270 times more contaminated. And again, just mentioning cesium. Oh, it's Christopher Busby, I might have known. The global weapons fall your peak. He's such a piece of shit, man. By the way, you got to worry about uh, pollen, radioactive pollen, too. Radioactive fog, radioactive incinerating uh, ashes floating around your community. Endless radioactive fallout. The mentally disabled are the heroes, not the Fukushima 50. The homeless are treated like disposable people. They're being sold to companies. Even Forbes, disgusting, despicable Forbes, said it was outrageous. 
The homeless are taken to work in Fukushima to die. Not nuclear academics, not nuclear scientists, not nuclear companies. Not, not, the, the heroes are not no Fukushima 50. It's the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. They're not even given food or places to go, and then they're thrown away like paper towels. They're treated with violence. The mentally handicapped are what they're sending into the nuclear meltdowns. Not nuclear scientists. There is no stoic nuclear scientist. And the Japanese uh, men are a coward population in Japan. They're coward. They're complete cowards. There is no men in Japan. They're cowards. That's all we see out of Japan. Tokyo drinking water is unsafe for infants. It's unsafe for everybody. It'll never be safe again. And when you talk about cesium, you got to realize there's infant, infinitely much, much more to worry about of isotopes and daughters of them, including cesium. And cesium's bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, food from Fukushima, overcoming reputational damage in Taiwan. Overcoming reputational damage. Well, the food was banned for a decade by 55 countries. It's not reputational damage. And so that offends me when you write stories like that. But, that's an important story because right here. The Fukushima hometown revival. 12 years on, he's set to return to his hometown, but at least for now, it looks like he faces a lonely existence. Been living in a disaster accommodation in Koryama, which is a nuclear wasteland that they didn't evacuate because they got to pay him, right? So just left him to die. And so this is amazing, this particular model. <coughs> the red is a no go zone, aka difficulty return zone, is a nuclear wasteland. Calling a difficulty return zone is because they don't. First off, they want to try to trick you into going back there at some point. Second off, they don't want to call it a nuclear wasteland. Again, right, to try to save face and trick and manipulate people into being uh, complacent. Special revitalization zone in the white lifted in 2022. This is a nuclear wasteland. Now, now this is what they admit to, but this whole area is absurd. It's not just this little section. Right, which is meant to make you complacent. Contaminated soil, they picked up 30 million one-ton bags, and then they claimed that it was safe to go back to and grow food in it. Since 2015, about uh, 1,000 trucks each day show up with seven and dumped around 7,000 bags. So roughly seven bags per truck load. A thousand times a day. They're taking that to Akuma and dumping it there, but they just open it up so people can move back there despite the fact that it's a nuclear wasteland and been off limits for 12 years. 30 million one ton bags. So imagine if you got to go there into the nuclear wasteland and write on the 30 million one ton bags, Dana is wrong. Do you, do you think at some point you're going to say, hey, maybe Dana's got a point? There's no end to scumbag or tree, so get your vomit bags out. Visiting Fukushima Diachi, what's it like inside? Well, first off, they don't go inside. Calling a cripple when it's a nuclear meltdown is what a coward would do. They got to take a bus in. They're not allowed to bring cameras. They're not allowed to bring... Anything that can record videos. He said it's been six years since he set foot inside the crippled facility. 
First off, he doesn't go in the crippled nuclear meltdown, a.k.a. that's what crippled means, nuclear meltdown. As we travel to what's called the difficult to return zone, I just showed you a section of it. This, this is a nuclear wasteland. It's not a difficult to return zone. It's a nuclear wasteland. There are abandoned houses on the verge of collapse. You got to return to check the progress. Again, uh, this is exactly the opposite of what he done. So uh, Ota Hidito from the Public Relations Department at the plant. Imagine what kind of scumbag that one actually is. Imagine what kind of degenerate that person actually is. Radiation levels are high. The staff had to work for shorter periods to take turns work and to limit exposure. As cleanup and decontamination progress, radiation levels lowered, so we no longer needed to carry out human wave attacks. This is where they would send in hundreds of homeless to scumbag industry. The tanks were built to manipulate you into thinking nothing went into the ocean. It's the only reason the tanks exist. They're all built at the same time, part of that public relation. And claiming they're growing flounders and halibut in water from the tanks just another way to manipulate you and, and trick you uh, into acquiescing to genocide and omnicide I, I think that's the lowest form of life to do that one that's incredible scum just by doing that the nuclear industry has no right to exist the fact that they were willing and did do it means there's zero possibility you could ever trust him anywhere. In the next thousand years, you would be insane to trust him. This is what they're cha claiming on the bus that is 25 microsieverts. I can barely contain my anger whenever I cover this stuff. I apologize. But you should be angry too. I just can't read it tonight. I'll get too upset. They got some couple of high school kids to go into. Look, look at this. Into the nuclear wasteland. And because they don't know any better, they're just going to go by what they're told. And then you use them as a weapon to brainwash other people. That's why you should hate every journalist you ever meet for the rest of your life right there. Tree genes are little affected by the Fukushima radiation crisis. This is uh, absurd, first off, because we've. I'm going to do a show tomorrow night on studies, academic studies about Fukushima. And we'll rip that version to pieces right away. Opinion Discharge of Alps Treated Water from Fukushima Daiichi. Opinion. Daily News. Opinion. The government of Japan will never discharge contaminated water that exceeds the regulatory standards into the sea. And then they used the World Health Organization as one of their uh, models that they're going to work, which is, shouldn't exist because that's the nuclear, that's the UN, which is the military industrial complex. It's 195 militaries. And then everybody seems to think that they're the boss. A foreign entity, a corporation, people treat them like dear to boss. How do you get that complacent? Well, you buy all the media and weaponize it against humanity. So the impact on humans about 1,000 of the radiation dose received from a single dental x-ray by dumping it into the ocean. So anybody like that should be castrated right on site when you say it. That's my opinion, anyway. What a rusty blade. Leaks from Minnesota nuclear leaks. 400,000 gallons, 1.5 million liters. And they're calling it leak. Some, some scientists see increasing nuclear energy is crucial. Some. So they had to leak, they waited four months for the radiation to go all the way down to the Atlantic Ocean, the Mississippi River, and then they told people they had 
not a leak, but a, this is what they call it, a leak. And we've seen stories where uh, it was like five times a paragraph they would say the word leak. There is, and there is no such thing as a tritium leak from a nuclear plant. There is no hoses there that only has tritium uh, water into it, tritiated water into it. This was a high pressure system because you had to shut down the plant to allegedly repair it, which meant it's a high pressure system, which is the reactor core, which is uranium plutonium, not tritium. And so these people should be quartered and flogged, tired and fettered, and just dumped into an ocean or something. So Forbes, under another scandal, there are 30 under 30 year sentences. Why are so many Forbes young heroes face jail? Yeah, Forbes is this magazine, the despicable, it's a despicable people at this facility. They pushed nuclear after Fukushima, it was revolting. U.S. bans Japan's food imports over contamination concerns in March 2023. This is AFP fact check to protect the nuclear industry. Well, this was a Chinese paper that re-ran a story about U.S. banning food from 14 prefectures, which was lifted last year in September. Same as the EU done the same thing, right? And Canada removed all restrictions after 93 days. America waited a decade. But it'll never be safe, first off. And this story was from a couple of years ago, but it got re-shoved back out there. AP had to come out and, and uh, debunk it without any facts that the food coming out of the nuclear wasteland. So there, there's an agenda to poison you at your supermarket. Not just because all nuclear power plants are surrounded by farms, by the way, because they are. Old FDA import alert falsely shared as new U.S. ban on Japanese food product. Uh, there's, zero, there's zero science to take the ban down in the first place. There was zero. So there's still 14 countries that were smart enough to keep a ban at the original 55. Shinzo Abe statue is also attributed to bilateral relations with Taiwan. First off, Japan is, is just, it's a lunatic country. But Taiwan, my God, what the hell is wrong with you? To make a symbol of shithead Abe, mass murderer Shinzo Abe, who shipped food in all your countries before he died. He's one of the reasons it's not safe to eat at a supermarket anymore. He's Shinzo Abe. Truly one of the most despicable humans in history. And he, and he got, yeah, good, good, good boy, Shinzo. Thank goodness. Uh, I, I was so happy when he was assassinated. I celebrated for six days. I was drunk on sugar because I was eating candy and celebrating. And this... The useful idiots went down there to write a story on it. It's like they got a whole, uh, like a little museum set up to worship monster degenerate scum Shinzo Abe. He got assassinated last year. One of my happiest days in the last decade by far. In fact, for the first month, I played his clip every morning when I woke up of getting assassinated to cheer me up. It worked. <laughs> How sad is that? Not as sad as you might think. Controversy over visit of Fukushima Joint Medical Center designated as an extreme group in Japan. So uh, a handful of politicians from uh, South Korea went to investigate the tanks and got led to this controversial area so that the media could use it to demonize them. They couldn't get into Fukushima. A 
Lawmakers attempted to interview residences, uh, residents at the Fukushima refugee housings, but only one resident uh, who was active and anti-nuclear. What a despicable way to frame that narrative. Responded to the meeting. The interpreter who coordinated the schedule today said, the resident said he will do it, not do it because they are ashamed. But nobody came out. Lawmakers couldn't enter the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and look at the nuclear power plant near the breakwater Nami Town, Fukushima Prefecture, about 10 kilometers away from the nuclear power plant. They'd not been able to visit TEPCO's headquarters the day before, and they couldn't meet TEPCO executives or the Japanese lawmakers or Japanese government officials. And these are South Korean government officials went on a fact-finding mission and they wouldn't let them get near it because they carry their own Geiger counters and their own, have their own experts, right? So they wouldn't even let them on the site. But remember that kid from the school that they let on the site and that other reporter they let there go back and visit I showed you a few minutes ago? Let them in there. The other atomic concern in Taiwan, nuclear reactors. Taiwan is going to shut down all of its nuclear reactors. So the referendum they had a couple in 2018, we covered that for six days straight when they were doing it, uh, was quite a deception, right? They had this referendum, should Taiwan import food from the nuclear wasteland, Fukushima Prefecture, and 78% voted no. When they had, it was part of a uh, poll or a, uh, a voting for government, they were able to have a poll or a referendum at the same time. But it was only binding for two years. As soon as the two years were up, they didn't have another referendum. A politician shook hands with a Japanese uh, politician and removed all the restrictions. Interim leader named for multi-billion dollar Hanford plant after their director died, which they won't even... Why won't they tell us what she died of? They refuse to tell the media what she died of. You know, she's around gamma shines, x-rays, neutron bursts all day, every day. And not hard to work out what happened. Hanford, in the 60s, in just one instant, dumped 450 billion gallons directly into the soil. That's equal to a six-foot-wide aquarium, 520, 518 feet tall, wrapped around the entire planet, of lethal radiation by the leader. No, Dana, it all fits in this room, Paul Dana. Luxembourg, which has a law... A couple of years ago, I, I, I usually show it, but I, I'm not going to look for it tonight. Enacted a law a couple of years ago that if you get sick 30 years after a nuclear power plant closes that you live within 10 or 20 miles of, you can still sue the nuclear power company that owned the plant 30 years after it's closed if you get sick. Because <laughs> they're a disease factory, see? There's 1,800 diseases. It's not just. It's not just um, cancer. La 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 la. Uh, the numbers I use are the official numbers. I don't claim anything. My my documentation is based on always based on the official numbers.
La 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 la. Neither safe, durable, nor competitive. Such was the message published by the Luxembourg government on Thursday about nuclear. Neither safe, durable, nor competitive. The construction time for the planned reactors disqualifies the technology from providing a response to the climate emergency on top of it. So Lux Luxembourg is taking a huge shit on nuclear, thank goodness. Biden unlikely to visit Nagasaki during Japan trip for the G7. No president has ever visited Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? Downwinder consortium protesters argue for compensation from the federal government. Uh, this is a, the Trinity, protesters in particular. And not that many of them have left. Most of them have died from cancer and diseases and heart problems and liver problems from the radiation fallout. It's imperative to educate the public is about how generations of new Mexican families have been affected by the nuclear fallout from the Trinity bomb. Right, so uh, surrounding states are covered, but not that's where they've done the nuclear bombs themselves. They're not covered. Right, because dead man tells no tale, right? Dead man tells no tales. Reflecting on the kittery iconic USS Thresher flagpole on the 60th anniversary of the tragedy. The USS Thresher was a nuclear submarine that disappeared, a broken arrow, so to speak, full of nuclear weapons and nuclear reactors. Does uh, Russia scuttle them? The Soviet Union abandoned them. Russia has 160 nuclear abandoned submarines in northern Russia, ran up on beaches. And, that, and they got 18,000 dump sites in the Arctic. Nuclear is nobody, friend, whatsoever. Kremlin on Lukashenko idea to destroy all nuclear arms. Um, He's from Belarus? Oh, uh, yeah, he's from Belarus. This story was the Breakthrough Institute. This story, rather, is the Breakthrough Institute. But Washington halt the global renaissance of nuclear power. There is no global renaissance of nuclear power. And so you had the scumbags from, we covered the Breakthrough Institute quite a lot. These, these are pro-nuclear lobbying. They're very influential, right, politically. They're horrific, unbelievable scum. Uh, we got a poll tonight, by the way. Considering the massive radioactive sewage and water sediment from the water filtration plants, you're talking about absurd numbers, by the way, incinerator ash, on top of it, should Japan be evacuated? And so anybody who voted no done it on purpose. And to think that three people voted no, I mean, you got to be some really crazy person to vote no on something like that. As daunting as it sounds, that's the right thing to do, right? Will Washington halt the global renaissance of nuclear power? There is no renaissance. What the hell are you talking about renaissance? Last year uh, was 290 gigawatts of energy came online and 
gigawatts of nuclear came online. So there's two rather there was 293 gigawatts of renewables came online, and 0 0.4 gigawatts of nuclear power came online. So it's over 600 to one ratio. So 600 times more, you know, like a, a 0 0.4 gigawatt, a 400 um, megawatt. You know, it's industrial power, right? So it was nothing in nuclear compared to renewables. It got squashed, it's like it doesn't even exist. And so these people that wrote the story, Adam Stein and Ted uh, Nordhaus, these are just degenerate lawyers. These are unbelievable perpetual lawyers. Just so they can get a paycheck, right? They'll poison everything and everybody so they can get a paycheck. Demonize everybody that questions nuclear. Lie about every facet of nuclear to get their own way so they can get a paycheck. Truly the lowest form of life, right? Truly the most stupidest person imaginable. Great education, but actually stupid. This was Business Insider. Now, I covered this about two weeks ago uh, when the video originally came out. They misrepresented it totally. I took screen captures from the video. Uh, inside Fukushima abandoned hospital where the wounded rushed to evacuate and nearby nuclear plants melted down. Twelve years later, they sit abandoned providing a frozen snapshot of what it must have been like. Well, and you see the picture they show you? It's actually empty. They emptied it. They happen to have pictures from a couple of years before. And so they showed those pictures. And that's the picture that they showed here and claimed that it was like a 12 year, a frozen snapshot of what it must have been like 12 years ago. But if you look at the video, it's actually empty hospitals. They looted the hospitals in the nuclear wasteland a couple of miles away from ongoing meltdowns and took it somewhere else. So any patients that are using, this is what it looked like a couple of years before. But it's actually empty right now. Pretty disgusting. That's Business Insider got a real little habit of doing that, right? The hospital is the nearest location to the Diachi nuclear plant, which is the Kuma or Futaba. Is it Futaba, I think, or Kuma? They're both within two kilometers of ongoing nuclear meltdowns. And somebody actually went in there and stole everything. So what, what, what would you do if you stole everything from a hospital? Well, you would open up another hospital somewhere. Probably shipped it to Africa or something and made themselves a couple of million dollars. And then everybody who gets treated in the hospital gets brutally radioactive. The children and the babies, the nurses and the doctors. Government report finds French energy sector is 30 years behind schedule. Uh, well, the nuclear industry in France is one of the worst by far, right? They refuse to build something that could replace the reactors. That way they can't turn the reactors off. Which uh, all countries have been doing that now for about a decade. To keep the artificial inflated numbers, right? Bill Gates' first photo with his first grandchild. He said, I can't wait for you to discover the world. And get a load of this. He says, when I think about the world my grandchild will be born into, I'm more inspired than ever to help everyone's children. Oh, that's so sweet of him. And grandchildren have a chance to survive and thrive. I swear, that's what he said. I swear. I didn't say he done it. He... I can't imagine Bill Gates saying something like that because he talks about how the vaccines will get rid of a billion people, right, at, at public talks there a couple of years ago. 
We can use the vaccines to drop the population down by about a billion, he says. <laughs> what do you think he's talking about? Yeah. So this uh, girl in Japan, she seems like she's a nice person, but she just doesn't know anything about nuclear. But anyway, she was invited to go to Fukushima nuclear meltdown with a bunch of scientists. She's not a scientist. She's just somebody living in Japan, right? Uh, foreign. I think she's an American. I don't know for sure. It's from some country anyway, outside of Japan. So they were doing a presentation for the induction there. It says uh, no cameras and no phones are allowed into the site. How come you can't take a camera in or a phone? Same reason you wouldn't let the South Korean politicians go near the site, right? But anyway, they also ran her over to um, a couple of miles away to Akuma, where they have a $50 million museum to suck people into coming close to the meltdowns, right? And it has models. It has models, exact replicas, of Fukushima reactors. We've seen these before, but this is actually pretty good. Dirty, dirty, dirty nuclear, man. Nuclear is such a dirty, disgusting industry. That's Reactor 3, Fable. You have to see my playlist to understand that, I guess. So... Look how high the stump of Reactor 4 is. See this uh, contraption they put there? At the very top of it, they claim the fuel pool is up there is perfect, right? We cover that all the time. Dirty, disgusting nuclear. But anyway, uh, there's lots of propaganda. She took lots of pictures. I gleamed quite a bit. But uh, one of my worst haters was under her video saying, no radiation escaped the reactors because the containment held and of course they picked up 30 million one ton bags in Japan but he knew she didn't know any difference right like taking advantage of people who don't know the difference like her she's just somebody trying to live and, and got sucked into this right because she's posting videos they see some people like this all the time right La 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 la. What do I got going on here? I wonder. Wow. How's the poll going tonight? Did we get to the poll? Considering massive radioactive sewage and water sediments, which is the water left over from filtering and massive incinerator ash, now called mud, should Japan be evacuated? Uh, sadly, yeah, Japan should be evacuated. Japan is really, really a nasty place. Bid to stop the sixth form debate on nuclear warheads at Lancaster Council. This was a politician who didn't want people debating nuclear weapons. He said, that wasn't your job to talk about nuclear weapons. But their job is to talk about things, right? Claims that it would stifle local democracy if they had a debate about nuclear weapons. It would stifle local democracy because they had a debate about nuclear weapons. You're not allowed to have a conversation, see? You know, India got a nuclear bomber because they're they're the most likely to use it. Russia says they would. India would. India is always saying it's going to use it. Stupid knows no bounds. I know what's that about. Japanese environment economist says the Alps Fukushima radioactive waste water still contains radionuclides. Urging Tokyo to stop the dumping plan. 
Yeah, well, nuclear is insane anyway. There, there's no one rational in the entire nuclear industry, right? New scale is the NRC certification of small modular nuclear reactors enough? Well, first off, you don't have to design in for new scale, which shouldn't exist. Reached a major milestone in January to design achieved certification from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Well, they just they came out and said they only done that to try to kickstart the industry, but there's all kinds of information missing. New scale hasn't provided it and has no intention of providing it. This is strictly about propaganda, right? The regulatory approval, which is just a boiling water reactor anyway, scaled down version. It's not even really a, a small modular reactor on top of that. New scale small modular reactor still faces challenges, cost, adoption, radioactive waste storage. The list goes on. James helped lead the passage of resolution opposing Canadian nuclear waste facility in Great Lake Basins. Uh, which is the Nuclear Waste Management Organization, the repressive Nuclear Waste Management Organization we have here in Canada. But a congressman from the United States has introduced a bipartisan legislation opposing Canada's effort to build a permanent nuclear waste storage site in the Great Lake Basins, where they got a bunch of American <laughs> reactors hemorrhaging into the environment. Canadian Nuclear Waste Management Organization wants to store 50,000 tons of high-level radioactive nuclear waste, Ontario in the Great Lake Basin, as most dangerous form of fuel, remains hazardous for tens of thousands, it's actually millions of years, is splitting the atoms into the environment. This is why all nuclear power plants are surrounded by farms, so they can kill you in your supermarkets. Our water resource is a central part of the identity of Michigan, Michigan but uh, then explain why you got nuclear reactors on the lakes, which are all holding nuclear waste, holding site. Boosting nuclear knowledge in schools play a crucial role in building the workforce of the future. <laughs> what do you think they're talking about? Boosting nuclear knowledge in schools, targeting children, see? It's called grooming anywhere else. Across the UK, and of course the United Kingdom is scum when it comes to nuclear, employs more than 100,000 people in the UK, a significant component of the national economy. 100,000 monsters. Indeed, nuclear faces a perfect storm in developing future talent. This means you've got to increase the sector must uh, increase its recruitment levels by 300% at a time of fierce competition. So in other words, the nuclear industry, all the nuclear industries, uh, Rolls Royce and the rest of them, have got together and said so we need to brainwash the children. Because they don't trust adults, right? Camco is going to receive that 300 million tax refund. So Camco is a corporate personhood. And as such, they're allowed to put their money in offshore accounts so they don't pay state, local, or federal taxes. So they're the worst company you can have for the country, right? So they put all their tax money in offshore accounts because otherwise you got to tax it, right? So now it's tax-free money. So if they get a fine, then they just take that money and pay the fine. Not only, that's what Google does too, by the way, and Facebook and the rest of them. Savannah River Nuclear Solutions hold a recruitment fair in North August, Augusta, I'm sorry. On the spot job offers. Oh yeah, we'll get you a job at Hanford. You gotta work eight hours and get a pension. Anti-neutrinos from nuclear reactors detected for the first time. We covered a little bit of this story recently. It, they were 150 miles away from a nuclear power plant, 
and they were able to tell you whether the plant was running or not by the neutrinos, which means every human, every insect, every animal, and every bird was getting radiated within 150 miles circumference. Enril wants lifting a nuclear weapons ban in the Constitution, which is the Philippines. So why is the Philippines talking about nuclear weapons? I got no idea, uh, but it's very concerning, isn't it? Uh, we're waiting for the big earthquake to hit Japan. It's two weeks late now. It'll be happening anytime at all. I would imagine every year around the anniversary to have a massive earthquake off the coastline of Fukushima. Declassified documents uncover Manchester's master plan in event of a 1980 nuclear war. You can imagine what kind of bizarreness that's going to be. The highways would be clogged up right away, he said. And then they had the old analog telephone exchanges. That all would have been destroyed. They will, they will attempt to flee the cities under discover the main trunk roads are closed off to become essential service routes to state security services. So they'll kill all you so they can have the highways for themselves. <laughs> right? Port Hope, which is in Canada, is a nuclear wasteland from the mining era. And they just, they used the tailings for the roads and the schools and, and every sidewalks and everything else. And houses. It's, it's a story of scum, begs. That's what nuclear is. No matter what story you cover in nuclear, you're left breathless by the scope of degeneracy the nuclear industry displays each time. It's consistent, too. Year after year after year, all year long, we see this parade of scumbags, degenerates and monsters. Second U.S. citizen heads to German prison for anti-nuclear weapons action. That was John LaForge got put in prison for protesting nuclear American weapon, NATO weapons in Germany, I think it is. I blessed her hearts, boy. The false promise of small modular nuclear reactors. While while Illinois should not repeal his nuclear construction moratorium moratorium. Nuclear war is broken out in Illinois will result in devastation of the economy, sabotaging of the climate, and equitable jobs act goals of hundred percent renewables or twenty fifty. That's right. Nuclear doesn't play with anybody else. It wants everything for itself. And because nuclear needs to consume all your precious metals and all your resources to exist and all of your economy in order to stay alive. Modular nuclear firm launches a $900 million equity raise. Modular, small modular reactor firm launches $900 million equity. And the U, the U, anything from the UK in nuclear is just douchebag city. They're unbelievable scum is the only way to... And Nucleo, which is UK, has registered businesses in Italy, France, and United Kingdom. Right, so it can scam investors, do you see? What it calls a lead-cooled fast nuclear reactor. And it also plans to manufacture the fuel from the nuclear waste, so mixed oxide fuel. Because all the small modular reactors are based upon mixed oxide fuel. Because it won't work with normal fuel, apparently. So they got to use the most lethal stuff to your communities and your environment and your water tables. Georgia's big new nuclear reactor could be the last built in the U.S. Yeah, well, that's true, actually. The first would be built in 30 years, and because there's no appetite for nuclear, because they're just too damn expensive. 
it was a decade behind and three times over budget or something. And it's just a nightmare. Westinghouse went broke. European tiny modular reactor deal starts with absurdly expensive electricity. 2.4 times more expensive as the very expensive Hinkley. And is likely to double that. And it's unlikely to be built before 2040 due to long talked risk. Long talked risk. So, talking about, I don't know why they had that picture there. Though. That's interesting. Enormous price per gigawatt from tiny reactors. So, like the Rolls Royce is a massive reactor, but they call it a small modular reactor. It won't achieve economies of scale. It won't be fast uh, to construct, forego efficiency, vertical scaling. It won't be cheaper, aren't suitable for moat or brownfield coal sites. Still face large security costs. Will still be costly and slow to decommission. And still require liability insurance caps. They don't solve any of the problems that they propose to. While intentionally choosing to be less efficient than they could be. They existed since the 50s and they aren't any better now than they were then. Last energy in this reporting is remotely accurate. So what's the story? Well, apparently they signed a $19 billion deal to supply 34 nuclear reactors at 20 megawatts each, but, which is you better off going with geothermal, obviously, but that's over 20 years. So that's one reactor a year, basically. It's abs the whole story is absurd. It's just meant to p put hype into the industry, right? To manipulate people. It's not meant to actually accomplish something. French power supply reduced and maintenance disrupted at 11 French nuclear plants due to strikes. Continuing strikes. But uh, they show you the pictures. These plants are surrounded by farms. Hard cases. Legal challenge to UK's size will see nuclear project approved. That's kind of interesting. A legal challenge was approved. This was... The government did not evaluate the environmental impact of the nuclear disease factories. Oh, you know, surrounded by farms. No renewable alternatives were considered. And to proceed with the size we'll see while being fully aware that it's highly vulnerable to sea level, storm surges and flooding only adds to the intergenerational burden we pass on. Deliberately doing so while alternatives to nuclear power are available is irresponsible, immoral and borders on being criminal. So they're being taken to court. Sounds like uh, with people with a conscience. Rediscovering the best of Fukushima local product through innovation. Like that's the very, 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 very last place on the planet you want to be eaten from is Fukushima, which is in the middle of 14 prefectures that were banned by 55 countries for over a decade. Fukushima was one of the biggest agricultural producers in Japan. Well, it was the food basket for Asia. Well, now it's a nuclear wasteland, but they never stopped growing food there. It is um, crazy enough to go around. Twelve years after Fukushima, nuclear disaster for the world without nuclear power. Release radioactive uh, cesium-137 equal to that of 168 Hiroshima's. So many things wrong with that statement. The radioactive fallout covered the whole planet in about 20 days. Hir Hiroshima was like a 10 pound bomb. Each of these buildings were over 10 million pounds. There's a big difference. This is the plutonium 239 dispersal. Main opposition requests parliamentary probe in the UN 
which is South Korea, and Kushida Summit next week. That was an older story. Uh, where Japan came out and said that he was going to import the food, they vehemently denied that statement. But Japan does that with everybody. There's so much brain damage in Japan, it's heartbreaking. France bans TikTok and other recreational apps, apps like Twitter, Candy Crush, Netflix, from state employees' work phones. You really think they're not going to find a way around that? This is government employees. They're not gonna. They're, they're not gonna stop being lazy. Just because you've done that. I no reason why that one's there. Rap artist Afro Man sued by officers. So the cops raided his home. He done a music video and used footage of the cops being pigs, and so the cops are suing him for emotional distress. They came and beat the shit out of him in his home, his own home. EU leader remains deadlock in classification of nuclear energy. So the EU is just a bunch of bought and paid for whack jobs are calling it renewable and green and carbon free. It's up like the whole every time you see that it's enough to make you shudder because then how corrupt is the system when they're openly doing stuff like that? It's 100% corrupt, right? My apologies. Paris is irked by nuclear's ambivalent status in the EU's Nuke Energy Industry Act. EU's a Net Zero Industry Act is not exactly calling nuclear carbon free, so Paris is freaking out on them. Don't worry, they'll get that changed. They'll just put somebody in the position to change that, see? Get somebody hired that'll do what they told them to do. Rediscovering the best of Fukushima local products through innovations. That's such a scary story. I've done it twice tonight. Common period opens for experimental nuclear tech in eastern Idaho, but only for a couple of days. It's just... And just a couple of days before it's meant to happen on top of that. They had lots of time to warn you, and they didn't. Clean geothermal energy. Clean geothermal energy. Co-founders of geothermal startup Quatsi Energy stated there is enough stored beneath our feet is a billion times greater than our annual energy needs on the entire planet is stored below your feet in geothermal. And all you got to do is figure out how to dig deep enough to uh, tap into it. It's, it's easy technologies. Anybody can do it. Me and you could do it. It's that easy. But uh, it's it's hard on the bits to dig that deep. It costs a lot of money to go through a lot of bits, right? And so the technology we have, now we have lasers that can just uh, evaporate the rocks, right? And that would do the job. But if you took universities and figured out a, a nice way to implement it, And that would go a long way to that would solve the issue because you can replace everything gas oil coal nuclear the commodities you rip them out and just put in geothermal leave everything else in place terrestrial energy opens nuclear technology development office in calgary 18 million dollar investment will also create 29 jobs over the next two years as it develops a small modular reactor. This is, they're not going to develop anything. This is a money grab. It's a 100% money grab. Clearly, we've been covering this for years and years and years. Clearly, what's going on is you're just, you know, there is no nuclear renaissance. And they're just trying to capitalize off what can be, because there's a lot of money stolen through the government for the nuclear industry. That's all they're up to. 
New nuclear plants have turned into money pits. Yeah, they're worse than that. They can't exist without endless subsidies on top of it. France's nuclear watchdog says corrosion crack flagged by EDF at Penley One reactor, which is surrounded by farms and my dad. But that's another reactor in France. Uh, it seems like all the French reactors are breaking down from corrosion, which is caused by uh, neutron bursts and gamma shines and x-rays and everything else, right? Corrosion in nuclear reactor, France's reactor, is bad. It's going to be really bad when summer starts because they don't have any... Uh, any ice in the mountains anymore so they don't have any water in the rivers they dried up last year that was the first time we've ever seen the rivers actually dry and so they had to shut down half the fleet and the ones they kept running cooked what was left of the marine life in the rivers of the aquatic life in the rivers rather getting more women in nuclear crucial to hitting a climate target how does putting more women in nuclear equate with climate targets. How does that actually work? They'll say anything to try to win you over. There's nothing they won't say. Vistra moves deeply into nuclear power with a planned $3.4 billion acquisition of Energy Harbor. Uh, somebody was smart enough to get out. And there's always a scumbag there to pick up the nuclear, right? Ending Illinois' ban on new nuclear power plants should be a bipartisan no-brainer. Well, like there's 25 states with no ban, but they're not trying to start up nuclear. Why are you so desperate to have nuclear? Support for nuclear energy grows in Hungary. So what? Uh, and this is about small modular reactors. Again, this is nonsense. This is I, we, we see so much of this. This is 100% posturing, right? ex scana executive uh, sentenced to prison for his role in V.C. Summers. What is it, $5 billion theft? They call it a nuclear fiasco. He got 15 months in jail. He'll be out in six. And a $200,000 fine, but he stole uh, $300 million. Big, like, does he really think he cares about six months when he got millions and millions and millions poked away? Atomic bamboozle, that's what nuclear is. Probes false hopes for future of nuclear power. This is a mini documentary. Oh, and when discussing the fight against climate change, like a mantra, now explores what she calls the repackaging of nuclear power in the form of small modular reactors that don't exist. There's, there is no, this is bamboozle. And the small modular reactors will produce 35 times more waste, intermediate level, dangerous. Uh, if it wasn't for nuclear fuel, it'd be called uh, high level waste. It'll produce 30 times more high-level waste and six times more fuel rods. The small modular disease factories will. And they're going to be running on mixed oxide fuel. So it's going to be hemorrhaging into your environment forever. Compensation shot for victims of nuclear weapons development. Way to go. And we are see, starting to see a lot more like that. And I didn't put that other story in there. Yeah, there's a whole lot of places in the United States, the entire states, they're trying to get everybody in the state compensation of $150,000 because they were irradiated from decades of nuclear war. We call it nuclear weapons testing, but it's nuclear war, right? Declassified footage unveils the terrifying force of a 1946 underwater nuclear blast. The problem with the underwater nuclear blast was 
uh, the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs they produce from the sulfur. So it created these spherical little balls that are microscopic, but could ingest uranium and plutonium and everything else, curium isotopes, and became super hot particles. Just a single one was vicious to any species, let alone a human. A British submarine in Gibraltar spurts row over putting Spain at risk of a nuclear disaster by parking their disease, nuclear disease subs in the harbors, right? So people were actually protesting that and winning, which is fantastic. And Gibraltar is well known for driving the nuclear industry, as it reports. Former Bond girl Denise Richards opened up about flack towards her 07 character and how she looked at the experience 25 years later. Well, she was supposed to be, a, she was playing the part of a nuclear scientist, right? Look, they even got someone in the paper suit behind her. So Bond, they used nuclear in a lot of their Hollywood movies. Bruce Power in Canada, Bruce Power, you know, the disease, biggest disease factory in Canada, named one of Canada's best diversity employers for 2023. Well, that's, they, they give them these accolades so they don't commit suicide, right? Northern Power nominated for Sellafield for mentoring scheme success. It's a scheme error, right? She makes a lot of money being a scumbag. Congratulations. Way to go. Whoopee. International Women's Day 2023. Uh, 14 photos marking 40 years since the Greenham Common Nuclear Weapons Protest. This was a massive protest. This was a massive protest of... Uh, 30,000 women protested. They joined the hands, surrounded the weapons manufacturing facility and wouldn't let anybody cross the barrier. Bless their heart. 30,000 women took it upon themselves to go fight for everybody's future. It, they, they were there for like a whole year or two years or something. It was really amazing. Might even been longer than that. I can't remember. EDF and Italian partners team up to support nuclear development in Europe. EDF, that's the very, uh, Nuclear Engineering International, right? But uh, e EDF, man, why would you want to team up with people like that? Ukraine topped nuclear plant lost power for the sixth time. Rafael Grossi said, uh, call me later, eh? House bill will lift nuclear power construction moratorium and Illinois nuclear power. Well, they have a moratorium. Well, you just got to have a referendum, right? But they don't want to have a referendum because they know they'll get voted no. It's consistently the strangest industry you'll ever come across is nuclear. There's never anything good about it. ADX nuclear workers demand government halt crazy legislative uh, blitz. ADX nuclear workers. Don't worry. It's not supposed to make any sense. Nuclear attack sees Russians told to take anti-radiation pills and to rush to bunkers. That's the United Kingdom media. United Kingdom media is just... It's, it's one great big tabloid, I guess, is the only way to explain it. Putin's $274 million spy plan destroyed by a drone sabotager at its air base in Belarus. So somebody went in there and sabotaged their spy plane. <coughs> I find that one hilarious, eh? <coughs> Excuse me.
We got a poll. Uh, considering the massive radioactive sewage, massive radioactive water sediment from the filtration facilities, and massive incinerator ash across the entire country of Japan, should Japan be evacuated? Duh. But of course, Dina. Nuclear, manage, nuclear Waste Management Organization, which is Canadian whack jobs, take an extra year to pick storage site as it seeks local support. So it won't build a so-called repository for Canada's waste if the community, the farmland, where they want to put it, doesn't agree. They're going to have a referendum. Now, half the community that gave millions and millions and millions of dollars with um, just for free, here you go, here's a million. What do, you, what do you need money for? Okay, here's a couple of million for you. And the other half, they told them to get lost and drop dead. So they're going to have a referendum. And if you don't win the vote, well, they're going to have to start everything again and go look for another place to nu nu nuclear waste. Now, this is what their plan is forever, is not to come up with a solution. It's all they're interested in is not coming up with a solution. The project will go ahead with willing and informed host. Only with willing and informed host. And notice in the background, farmland. See the farm? They bought 1,500 acres of farm, prime farmland, but they want the farmers to keep farming the land for the next 100 years if they build it there, they said. So much for the nuclear waste management organizations claim this is a community-driven process. Pr uh, process. No, well, it's, it's community-driven because they don't want they want to divide the community so you don't vote yes, right? Because they don't want to put it anywhere. They just want to keep the money and divide the communities. They want it to. They can't put it anywhere because it's hemorrhaging into. There's so much hemorrhage into the environment. They can't contain it, and they're hoping to make mixed oxide fuel out of it. So the longer they hang on, the more likely it is they'll change the laws to make it legal to have mixed oxide fuel, and then they can say, well, we're just going to make mixed oxide fuel out of it. That's, that's the nuclear industry's hope, right? <coughs> and that's why they're doing what they're doing. They don't want to put it underground because they want to make mixed oxide fuel out of it, or they'd rather you died, one or the other, or both. Taiwan shuts down another nuclear plant. And the nuclear industry, but it's going to cause more people to get sick from coal. Well, more people get sick and die from nuclear than will ever get sick from coal, gas, and oil emissions, which only travel about 100 miles away in heavy winds. Nuclear covers the whole planet within 15 to 20 days. South Korea government step, step up testing of Japanese food products. And Japan is just attacking J uh, South Korea for that one, right? And so I showed you a story earlier where f government, federal government officials went to Japan. TEPCO wouldn't see him, wouldn't let him into the nuclear plant. The TEPCO politicians wouldn't talk to him. The evacuees in the nuclear wasteland wouldn't come out and talk to him. <coughs> and they went back empty-handed. There was no way you're getting on site. Such a scumbag industry, eh? Nothing about nuclear is sensible. Europe's readiness to respond to a nuclear disaster, learning from Chernobyl and... F like, first off, studies were shown that the sex entire, entire population of the EU, European Union, there was more males and females born after Chernobyl, which meant everybody got irradiated. And you can't have everybody getting irradiated without all the insects and animals and mammals getting irradiated. Twelve years after 311, dispute grows over Fukushima radioactive soil. There's 30 million one-ton bags, for starter. Same thing with the tanks, right? Uh, we have a whole playlist of videos about the tanks. 
If you're not familiar with that, they're scamming you. Abe's aid bullet ministry like a loony Yakuza. Apparently Shinzo Abe's aide was bullying some people in the ministry. Because that's how you do things down there. TEPCO announces selected projects to treat Fukushima radioactive water. You can't treat radioactive water. The filter is so radioactive you can never get near it again, see? Fukushima cleanup costs, costs well with no end in sight. Farm product shipment resumes and disaster hit Fukushima town. Broccoli harvest is started at a farm in Futaba, Fukushima Prefecture, which is two miles from ongoing multiple nuclear disasters where no one lives and you've got 14 million bags stored there. But now they're shipping broccoli, which is like the big green leaf stuff is the worst stuff because <coughs> there's lots of stuff, there's lots of room for radiation, right? It never stops coming out. So you can see the nuclear meltdown from the farmer's field. Japan to lift evacuation order for part of a town. For part of a town. Well, in Pacific, 6% of the town. So 6% of a town, right alongside of a nuclear meltdown, means you get, when you drive there, you can't stop your car until you get on your parking lot, on your driveway. And then you have to go inside the house. You can't stay outside. You can't cross the street or anything like that or go for a walk because that's all no-go zones. So you got to be pretty messed up to open up a community with those attributes, right? You've got to look pretty far-fetched to do something like that. Yeah. What else we got here? The only people move back are by themselves. There's nobody else in the community. Radish is grown in his field in Akuma, which is within sight of the nuclear meltdowns. This is the very, very, very last spot on earth a human should live. Japan is doing everything it can to get uh, women and children back there too. Japan marks 12 years since the quake tsunami that led to the Fukushima. So they always, whenever they talk about the nuclear meltdown, they'll always say it's caused by the quake and tsunami. No matter where you read it on the planet, it'll do that. It's terrible to send people back to it, just because you can't see it or smell it or taste it or hear it or feel it or touch it. Or pick it up, or throw rocks at it, and so therefore you can't you can't perceive it, right? And because you can't perceive it, because <coughs> you can't perceive it, does it mean that it doesn't exist? <coughs> Excuse me. La 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 la. A little tickle in my throat here. Let's check the poll, I guess. Considering the massive, unbelievable, hideous amount of radioactive sewage, the insidious amount of radioactive water from the water filtration facilities across the whole country, <coughs> and massive amount of incinerator ash across the whole country. That's more than enough evidence on its own that Japan should be abandoned. That's infinitely more evidence than you need. I guess we're going to have to give it up. My throat is shot here. <coughs> I 
Uh, better luck tomorrow night, I suppose. How was the censorship tonight? Pretty rough, eh? We know before the show started, the censorship was going to be bad. The last week, has been, they've been vicious, eh? Just it's vicious. And they got if they censor me too much, then they got no one. They got no one to censor because if they get rid of me, there's nobody else really doing live shows to censor, right? We're the only live show out there. And so to get rid of me, then they're out of a job. So they don't want to censor me any more than they already have. You would hope. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. That's a lot of news tonight, though. That's crazy, man. La 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 la. I guess we call it quits right there, will we? Come over and close the poll down in a minute. If you made it this far, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Cost is very little. I might actually go somewhere. We don't know for sure. La 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 la. We covered a bunch of headlines at the beginning too on just Fukushima. Let me get rid of this. I mean, they're growing food in the no-go zone. Right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. Surrounded by 14 prefectures where nobody worldwide would buy the food from, only Canada. And that's your media. If you see media sends like a banana, a walk in the sunshine on an airplane, just never use it again. Right? Ever. Because that media is completely corrupted if they say stuff like that. <laughs> Close the poll down, I suppose. My throat is tickled. Silly. Considering the massive radioactive sewage across the entire country, the massive amount of ton, one ton bags from the water sediment from water reclamation facilities, because they only put 100 characters there, right? And the incinerator ashes from all the incinerators are too radioactive to get rid of. We should abandon Japan. And so we're we're only saying this because we care about Japan. We don't want you to abandon your country. And the, the rest of the world should have to take in. Like they did for Ukraine, right? Which was a staged event, by the way. And, uh, bear with me. I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to end the poll. One more look at the poll. Should Japan be evacuated when you consider all the massive tonnage of radioactive sewage, radioactive sediment from your water filters, and radioactive ash from your incinerators? Well, I mean, duh. Yeah, of course, Dana. Thank you. I'm glad you've seen things my way. Hi everybody, hugs for everybody. Uh, Stephen Young donated fifty dollars the weekend. Thank you, Stephen. That's a uh, huge. We appreciate that. I hope you're feeling better, my friend. I know you're probably not, but Good night, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Now tomorrow night, the intentions are to do a show. I got. 500 studies in a folder and the weekend I was picking at them 
I got another video ready to go of uh, marine species die-offs that were linking to Fukushima because some of a broken food chain and other reasons. Uh, tons of emaciated whales and, and uh, another 1,500 seals. The salmon fishery now has collapsed for the West Coast, according to the media yesterday. The coho is the only ones that might stay normal, but uh, I can't remember exactly. Don't take my word on it, but it we've got a whole bunch of stuff to cover, a whole show ready to go. And... And got another show like tonight ready to go. So we're in good shape for the rest of the week. I'm not sure how the week, what we're doing till tomorrow. Because who knows what kind of news. We're expecting an earthquake in Japan. Any day a massive one. Because you have massive earthquake every year. that does around $5 billion worth of damage. Right off the shoreline of Fukushima. Ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns. And each year it does... Billions of dollars of damage, far, far away, but no damage at ground zero to the fragile reactor buildings. It's quite interesting and impossible. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you for finding time, energy, and effort. I hope you have a great night and a great day tomorrow. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Great shows for this week. Lots of great shows this week. If there's such a thing when it comes to nuclear, it was a great show. We got them. Have a great night, folks. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Oh,